There are few organizations in this industry that can claim we're doing something special better than uh, Veterans Health. Could you tell me what uh, led you to be involved? Uh, you know, first uh, I got involved with the Veterans Airlift Command as a uh, injured Marine. Um, just needed a lift somewhere and uh, flew with them. Um, got to fly right seat with the uh, the pilot, which was uh, even more cool. And um, you know, caught the bug. Started uh, flying myself with the help of uh, Veterans Airlift Command, a partnership with uh, Able Flight, and got my own uh, pilot license. And um, another uh, uh, Veterans Airlift Command pilot um, read a story about me through AOPA, uh, lent me his airplane so I could go get my instrument ticket and. Um, open up some doors so I could actually become a pilot for the Veterans Airlift Command myself. What does the public not know about the mission that they need to know at this point? The VAC is really comprised of volunteer pilots and aircraft owners. You know, we've got 2,700 registered so far, but there's more and more guys that are injured and needing help. And, you know, they've got missions you know, going out every single day. Any help we can get from the pilot community, the uh, aircraft owner community, is uh, really essential. It's what allows us to do what we do. What's a typical mission for a veteran's airlift? You know, I don't think there's really a single typical mission. I think probably the most frequent are medical guys uh, like myself who are amputees, or double amputees that um, have been injured for quite some time, you know, move back home to wherever that might be, uh, that need a lift back to Walter Reed or San Antonio or you know, California to get, you know, prosthetic work done. Or as we age, you know, we tend to, to start dealing with more and more um, old war injuries that are requiring surgeries and stuff like that. They do all sorts of cool stuff. Guys that are in the hospital that want to go see their, their units come home from a deployment, you know, important, powerful thing that we do as well. Having gone from someone who has received the benefit of support from Able Flight and from Veterans Airlines and things of that nature to someone who has now provided uh, services as a pilot, what kind of feeling does that give you to have gone 180 degrees on this? Yeah, well, I guess I should start by saying I don't think I'd be where I am today without all the support of other people looking out for me. Um, you know, from uh, helping me, uh, you know, get into an airplane and fly, helping me get into uh, school and grad school and uh, ultimately get into a career in nonprofits, helping um, other veterans uh, is all, you know, really the result of other people supporting me. Um, I'm very fortunate to be in a position now to try to help others do what they did for me. And as hard as I work at it, I always get more out of it than I put into it. And I think uh, anybody that volunteers with the Veterans Airlift Command or any other group out there will find that that's probably not an uncommon feeling. Sergeant, I can't thank you enough for your time, for your service, uh, for your sacrifice. But uh, what can people do to support you from here on out? How can they get more information about Veterans Airlift? How can they get to, to participate in one form or another? What kind of resources are you looking for? Sure, uh, just visit veteransairlift.org. If you're aircraft owner or pilot, you know, register the aircraft, you'll start getting notifications about when the missions are, where they're going. If you can do it, that's great. If you can't, there's no pressure, there's no obligation. If you're not an aircraft owner or pilot and you just want to get involved and make uh, a difference, there's a few ways you can do that through the website and you know, primarily by uh, contributing to the organization, make it uh, possible for them to continue to do what they do. I'm Brad Kislowski, and some people know me as the NASCAR driver, where I've competed for 13 years at the Cup Series level. There is no typical day in my world. Not knowing what my day is going to be, I have to have as much flexibility as possible. I've been a GoGo -Go customer for over five years, and so I've seen the technology just continue to improve. It's an enabler that uh, helps me make the most of a crazy world that I'm in. Overall, I'm extremely happy with the GoGo -Go system I have on my airplane.